This expressive hibiscus was painted in an hour on a quiet afternoon. Serving more as a watercolor exercise, I'm trying out a paper brand that other artists like a lot, and the brand is Fabriano. I want to see how the paint moves, how well the color stays on the top, how much absorption there is, etc. There's a lot of things I just want to try about this paper. I, I actually bought it for my son, and and I it so far I, I really like it. I've I've done a couple small study paintings on it, and I think it really takes the paint really nice. So what I'm doing with this piece is I'm approaching this red hibiscus in two different ways because it's it's an exercise. Here I'm doing a little bit of detail shadow work. So far the paper is really holding up nicely, which is a surprise considering it's not as expensive as my normal brand. Now I am seeing how the paper performs in a wash of color for the petal. This is a different approach from painting the shadow detail first. I'm using vibrant hues and I'm working intuitively. My waters have colors have always been an intuitive experience. I'm not so much of an academic painter, even though I've been painting for nearly all of my life. Now I'm going over the detail shadow work with color washes. Finally, I'm trying out a purple hue for the shadows. This entire painting is an exercise designed to see what the paper will tolerate, so it really doesn't matter which colors I'm using. I wanna see how it performs and which techniques might be best suited for this paper brand. If you're an experienced painter, this would make sense. And if you're just starting out or if you just enjoy watching others paint, I'll be making more painting videos where I'm explaining a lot more detail on what I'm doing and why.
Here I want to see if the paper will, will, will retain the, the brilliant cobalt blue colors or if that color will sink backwards. If, if a color sink, sinks backwards, that means it's just being absorbed into the paper and it's not going to be very vibrant. You might have, might have to try different things if you want to achieve a vibrancy. This is more of a hot press paper and I wished I had kept the cover of the paper because somehow I lost that. Like I said, the brand is Fabriano and they make a lot of, of different watercolor papers and I'm a new fan. Thank you for watching. And if, if, you, if you enjoy my work, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And better yet, if you leave me a comment, that would be great. Introduce yourself. And if you're interested in learning to paint, just keep an eye, out, eye open for my videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.